Today you will hear from the Juliet Hampton Morgan Memorial Library staff as they share their perspectives and experiences on the events of September the 11th. It touched our lives, it touched the world, and here are our stories. On the morning of September 11, 2001, the conscience of America was shaken to its core by the attacks on the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and Flight 93. Where were you and what were you doing when you found out about September 11? I was at work. I worked with the city of Montgomery at the Montgomery City County Public Library. I was at the gym. It was 8.45 in the morning. I was on the treadmill listening to my music and also looking at the TV because they had TVs in the gym. So I saw the Twin Towers, but I figured it was a movie. I didn't actually think it was anything until I saw the at the very bottom it said CNN. I was working at an insurance company and I had just come into work about 15 minutes before the first plane hit. I was in college at the time and I was in class. However, to the best of my memory, that was all I remember. Well, at the time um, I was only three years old. So I was a sophomore in college and um, actually had a class that morning. So towards the end of class, somebody said something about the Pentagon blew up or had exploded and we we're all just like, what are you talking about? That's, what, that's insane, that's not happening. Uh, I was driving, going from, home, from work to homes and then I got a call from my friends informing me about the attacks. I thought it was a joke. I really, I was doing something on the computer and received a phone call from a girlfriend and asked me to inquire of the health of my son, who at that time lived in New York. But I says, well, what's wrong? And she says, well, you're not watching the news. And I says, well, no, I'm not. And, she said, and then she asked me, do I have a television in my office? And I do. And I turned it on and I was just so surprised. I think that when I turned it on, the plane was flying into uh, D.C. to the Pentagon. Watching firsthand and on television, millions of viewers were in awe as the tragedy unfolded. From the attack, over 2,700 lives were lost, including flight crew, passengers, personnel in the towers, first responders, and bystanders on the ground. This day in history will live on in infamy known as 9-11. My, my nephew, that is the son's ferry, is working in a, at a financial institution which, which office is just a block away from the towers. So we try for hours to find out, to call him, but I think at the time the telecommunications was cut off and then the time difference is 12 hours between my home country which is Japan. at the time I was in Jakarta and New York and he told us that when the plane hit the towers he was just arrived at his desk and had to evacuate quickly he was covered in the dust and then later on we found out, we realized that he was afraid to fly. So whenever he was able to go, doing a tri made a trip, he would always take, by, take a uh, driving himself. And then it took him about over a decade for him to be able to fly again. Right in the aftermath, we had a little bit of a family crisis because I have an uncle who worked at the Pentagon, and we didn't know where he was for a little while. Um, he wasn't there, so it was okay. And I called him, and I could not get through because no cell phones were going through. A little bit longer, and then finally he called me. He finally called me to kind of check in and uh, let me know that, that, that he was safe. His wife had left that morning to go to Dance Gate of Harlem. She had left early, and so she was caught in the hustle and bustle 
of the train where they were trying to get, she was trying to get back to him. The third plane to set off headed towards Washington, D.C., hitting the west side of the Pentagon. How has 9-11 impacted your life? Um, well, my father's a fireman here in, well, he, at the time it was here in Montgomery. Um, you know, it's a little harder watching him walk out the door. Personally, 9-11 is a big um, event, and, um, you know, it's, it's marked a whole lot of change in, way, in the way people see things. That one big event can affect the whole world. Um, especially me, I'm in the IT field, and, um, for example, now we have to project terrorist attack when we're doing risk, risk assessment and things like that. So it's a big thing, you know, that we don't really think about. I do have sorrow for the individuals that were directly impacted by it, but me personally, I was not. So I remember um, every year, like every year the time would come around, we at school, we would watch, you know, um, like videos or we would do like, I was like in maybe kindergarten, we do like coloring sheets and stuff like that. Um, and every year, you know, I try to at least watch the World Trade Center movie, just, you know, to keep that memory alive and, you know. It made me really proud to be an American. Um, it was such a dark time, and I was so proud of how everybody all pulled together. It just scared the heck out of the world, and me being a ninth grader at the time, it... It played on my psyche a bit, too, because I was under the impression that my mother worked in the tallest building in the world, which is the RSA Tower in downtown. And uh, so immediately I, I grabbed my phone and uh, called to do a, a checkup on my mom. Tried to, especially as I, as I got older and as I was a teacher and I had students um, there, um, was going to the memorials um, because it's, it's one thing to be told, you know, uh, this many people died. Um, during, during an incident, during an event, or during a war. Uh, it's another to go and you stand in front of a wall and the wall is hundreds of feet long with names that are all this big inscribed on it uh, as people who died in that war. It's got a lot more impact. I don't know if it has directly affected me personally, but um, I think it has changed, it changed the world as we knew it in so many ways. Flight 93 delay never reached its intended target, believed to be the White House. Because of cell phone technology and air phones, the passengers were forewarned about current events. Passengers and crew formulated a plan to immobilize the hijackers. Their courageousness stopped the plan, but ended their lives, crashing in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania at 10.10 10 in the morning. I think for us, it was quite uh, excruciating hours to find out about where about he was and whether he was safe or not. That's the uh, very uh, traumatic event for the family find out about him. It struck terror in the hearts of all, probably all Americans and pe probably people around the world. Why do you believe we should remember our lives always? Um, just after conversations with my father about it, there's firemen that he works with now that became firemen because they were little when 9-11 happened and they like 9-11 was a sad day for everybody because, um, you know, this thing has affected humanity um, at large. There are people that lost their parents, there are people that lost their husbands, there are people that lost their wives. So, you know, you try to sh show some sort of empathy for people like that and um, it could be anybody, it could have been, you know, my people. and. Um, I just think we should remember that we are all in this together and, um, you know, we need to sh show care and not hatred towards each other, if that makes sense. The day it happened, they were so scared. 
I just, I didn't know who could have been involved. I had a brother that was still uh, active, but I knew he wasn't in that area. But I was sad for the other employees and their families because a lot of lives were taken on that day. And it was a very, dis it was disastrous. And when you watch it on television, it was just heartbreaking. To remember this infamous day, a memorial was open to the public on September 11, 2011, its 10-year anniversary. Located in the base of the Trade Center Towers, two waterfall pools encased in bronze list the names of the victims of the 9-11 attacks and the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. Born from the dust and ashes was the One World Trade Center. The One World Trade Center, or Freedom Tower, was rebuilt in the original site of Six World Trade Center in 2006, opening November 3rd of 2014. Do you feel as if there are lingering effects of 9-11 today? Well, you're always going to have that. You're always going to have those people that had families that they left behind or that um, were affected by it in New York and of course there are books out about it so you're always going to have that that's that's nothing that's going to go away there are always going to be memories and it should be that's the way it should be we should never forget that they have to think about the people who were like the first responders and the responders that lived through it and so the lingering effects that they would have that um you know with could be ptsd um, and things like that. Then there's also the lingering effect of those who won't travel because of the attack on September 11th. So they won't travel, you know, by plane or they won't travel at all because of the effects of September 11th. You know, you have some people who probably are having, um, like, anxiety. Um, and you have some people who probably are homeless from this stuff and have mental issues. The health effects, because there were people at the site, so of course they have still have health issues. And unfortunately, I also think that there are some ugliness, I would say, ugliness like towards Muslims and towards Muslim Americans. Oh yeah, yeah. Lots of stuff are really different. Like if you can go through air airport security, that's like a whole different thing now than it used to be. And there's a lot of, you know, if you walk through a train station now and there's a just a bag laying there, you know, 20 years ago you wouldn't have thought about it. Now you would. Yeah, um, I, I definitely do think um, you know the world, the world changed on 9/11, uh, and with you know things from airport security to just the, the general outlook of, of people in the world towards uh, different peoples and, and everything else. I, I definitely think definitely both ways um, people's perception has been affected for better and for worse. I do. Um, I think it temporarily brought the nation together but it very quickly divided again and I think there's been a lot of hostility towards certain groups after 9-11 and unfortunately I think that's something that people have not gotten over and people can't get over gripes anyway but it was beautiful for a little while everybody was together and, and mourning together but it very quickly divided again so I think unfortunately those divisions are still there and still strong today. The initial change was a very positive change because there was unity it didn't matter the color of your skin. I, um, everyone was united and you know just making sure that everyone was okay and there was so much help that was given and you know the prayers came and did not matter again the color of your skin is there anything else you'd like to say about september 11th may we never forget even though like I'm not in school anymore, I think it's just important to try and keep that, you know, like to remember, always remember like what happened on that day. Because I think people tend to, not tend to forget, but 
even when we were going when we were in school like you would do something on that day but then after that you would forget and like move on like nothing had happened so just like keeping that memory alive is important and teaching your kids about it too I would like to say 9-11 has definitely changed the world forever. Nothing is the same. It definitely united us as America, but I also feel that in some parts it also kind of divided us too. 9-11 was a horrible tragedy and I pray to God that nothing like this ever happens again. It just tells you that life is short. Life is short. You cannot, you don't know if you're going to walk out this door and come back the next day. Life is short. And you just got to take all of that into account. That's why I thank the Lord every day for waking me up. Never forget 9-11. 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 Never forget 9-11.